Hey, welcome back to Elden Ring, the status effects playthrough, and I'm in Black Knife Cat Catacombs. So this is the DLC character as well, and I want to switch out to the scythe because I want to test something out. So there's undead in this catacombs that is controlled by... Wait, am I heavy? Yeah, I'm heavy. That's controlled by, like, a master or something like that. I don't know how else... How to say it. But it's controlled by a master, and you have to kill the master to kill the skeletons. And I want to see if you can get around that with the correct type of weapon. You can, okay. You can get around uh, these guys. And then this is the dude that was controlling me. Alright, let's go in here because there's a axe I need to grab. So I'm in the middle of doing a quest line for Fia and Rajer. In Black Knife, because I have to get the knit, uh, what's it? The Black Knife print. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, I need to jump up there. Ah, so close. I don't- I didn't hit- I didn't hit a button. I don't know how I attacked that one. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. And then I should be able to summon... Mr. D as... A cooperator. Okay, here it is. Nice. Okay, so I don't know if I have to do this for lore, but it's fun, so I'm gonna do it. So I found out these black knives. I don't know if it's all of them, but they don't take poison damage and it's rough. They don't like the status effects just don't do anything. Okay, so I'm going to buff Mr. D. And I'm going to save my physic in case I need it later. Do I need anything else? Yeah, I need this. But they do Actually, they do... Black knives do bleed, so... Let's do that. I'll get rid of my sword. You're not bleeding, lady! Okay, this lady's not bleeding.
Nice. We did it. Black knife print. Oh yeah, D holds his sword. The the detail, like the attention to detail. This was so savage that they put this here to make you think that it's the end of the dungeon. I don't know why they did that, but... Alright, so we gotta go down here now. Wait, there's another one? Hello? Wake up. I guess I have to pull the lever and then it'll wake up? Yo, look at the difference in the damage without... Okay, this is crab... Okay. That's okay. We can... Yo, we have the technology. Well, that was gross. Okay. I really thought there was a whole nother crab over here oh it's over here okay we'll fight this one normal it won't let me target the crabs crab you didn't live up to your Difficulty I'm used to. Okay. That's it. Okay, let's go. And after this, we're pretty much done with Lyernia. And, um... I can make my way to... I'm torn on whether I want to go to... Altus, or if I want to go to Kaelid next. And... I don't know. They're both kind of the same, but... I don't know if... Okay, let me reset. I'm not sure if Kaelid is going to be the play, because... I'd rather go to Altus and be able to get a bunch of different things like ants for rapier and stuff like that. And then I can level up a little more, uh, get more vigor for Radon. All right, so this guy's, uh, this is not a very fun fight. So I'm gonna use dog. I'll use the imps because there's more of them and there's a whole lot going on in this fight. And I can use my talisman. This is my blood loss talisman that I never get and I finally have. I'm gonna use this for sure. Yo, look at my blood loss bar. Holy hell. That's crazy. I have dreams of annihilating all these guys with madness, so I'm gonna do it. Oh, that, okay. Crazy, I don't know. 
plus six. This is only plus six. This Ash of War is really, really powerful, though, against Undead, so. All right, very nice. Root Resin over here? No. Okay, so that's that's it, you guys. We're done. Let's go to Garonk and give him this Death Root. I feel like these bosses are too easy. Right now, I don't know why. I guess I'm level 70, which is pretty high, but... Strange. There's something else. But the death yet quenches. Bring more. Beast Swar Roar, okay. Okay, there's pretty soon there's gonna come a time where Gr uh, Gronk's gonna go insane and like try and murder me. I'm not really sure when that is. I'm thinking maybe I should just stop leveling for a while because and just not upgrade my weapons anymore until I get to like the snow fields because Everything's seeming uh, a little too easy. Oh, wait, I need to talk to... Uh, I'll talk to this lady. Be like, I, hey, I found it. I am pleased to see you again. Would you like me to hold you once more? The blessing is still aflame in your breast, dear. Would you like to be held regardless? Now, come closer. You are so very warm. About the Black Knife Prince. Dear Roger likes to talk of it when abed. The ancient plot in which the first of the demigods was slain. The Black Knives wielded by the assassins who committed the act along with the impressions they made somehow hide the truth of the conspiracy. Dear Roger, the ancient plot to Black Knight along with the... Okay, I think I need to talk to Roger. The Knight of the Black Knives was when Godwin or God... Whatever his name is. Godwin got killed. Godwin's like Elvis to these people, I guess. He, uh... He was, um, some sort of a big deal. And now he has a big big problem. No, now he has... He makes death blight everywhere. <sighs> what happened? Why? I think I messed it up. Darn. <sighs> I did. I messed it up. Because he's not supposed to be sleeping. Alright. No big deal. He doesn't give anything, I don't think. But at least I got the dialogue from... Yeah, okay. So I think maybe what I did wrong was I killed a second demigod. Maybe getting the second um, great rune is what triggered Rajir to go into the slumber. Because there's dialogue where he says something like, you know, we need to find out where the remaining knife print is. And he asks you to go undercover and enter Ronnie's service. But I guess the reason um, she immediately asks me to enter her service is because I unfortunately, uh, something triggered it. And I think it was this, getting the second demigod. The second great rune. Ah, art thou persuaded to my cause? Then, again I shall ask, wilt thou enter into my service? Uh, serve the rich witch. I see. A choice well made. Thou art a rare sort. 
Not many would have accepted the offer, but I require as much of those under my command. I anticipate good work from thee. Good. Then I ask we proceed with haste. There is, in my service, a half-wolven warrior by the name of Blythe. I would have thee join him in searching for the hidden treasure of Nokron, the Eternal City. I have called for Blythe to greet thee below. Take from him the particulars. Ah, and there wilt thou find E.G., my war counselor, and Salavis, preceptor in the sorcerous arts also. Heed not their peculiarities. Feel secure in gaining from them. What advantage thou canst. I am sure the others will be doing just the same. Speak with the three who await thee below. Thou needst not indulge them and it hath been a passing. Okay, let's go. Talk to our new friends. Okay, so I should have dialogue with Blythe. Sometimes he doesn't show up there and I don't know why. Oh, so you were the one. Lady Rani has explained everything. Again, I am Yiji, the Karian royal family's dedicated blacksmith and Lady Rani's war counselor. I am told that you are searching for Nokron with Blythe. I will give you whatever guidance I can and pray for your success. What? Let us give all that we can of ourselves together for Lady Rani. Okay, so seek the treasure of Nokron. I didn't, I don't, maybe she got the dialogue and I didn't notice. Hmm. Long time, friend. Blythe. Have you forgotten? Glad to have you in the service of Mistress Rani. Well, getting right to business. I'm still in Limgrave. The eternal city of Nokron lies somewhere at the bottom of this land. I'm planning to go below through the well in the mistwood. See if I can't find the road to Nokron from there. I'm going below through the well in the mistwood. See if I can't find the road to Nokron. Don't keep me waiting, eh? I'm going below. See if I can't find the road to Nokron. Okay, so I have to meet him there. This guy's really annoying. I see. Yes. I am. I don't know what since we have. I asked. I Roman Payne should you if it were up to but who I Roman Payne should you wish Okay. Celibus pretty much just says like, you know, I don't know why Lady Rani is XYZ. Um blah 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 blah. He just kind of like gives you nice nasties and is like a, a weirdo. <laughs> Okay, I don't know if she has dialogue, but I'm gonna check. Ah, allow me to forewarn thee. I shall soon enter my slumber, and it will be some time before I wake. This doll's body is not without its hindrances. Still, I have high hopes for thee. I look forward to the good news when I arise. I shall soon, and it will be. I have high look for. Okay, so pretty much that's everything as far as. These, uh. These folks. Now I, got, I need to sit at the Grace and then go visit Celibus and get started with him. Because I think the next part of the quests is to go down in the well in the mistwood and talk to Blythe about how to find Nokron and that triggers a whole bunch of stuff like talking to Selen about it and Celibus I get like a random scroll I think Oh, I forgot about this part. Well, well, you took me at my word. 
Did you not realize I was merely being polite? Oh, you provincials never cease to amaze. Uh, I suppose you're here now. Perhaps I'll give you something to do. I'd like you to find a woman called Nefeli to administer a potion. Even you can do that much, can't you? Ah, uh, yes. Good, good. Now I shall hand over the potion in question. Find Nefeli and ensure she drinks it. I expect glad tidings, and soon. I have no time for idle chit. The only thing I will hear from you is a report of your tasks. Are we under- I have enough. Okay, so let me get this memory stone. Okay, so I don't know if I'm going to do Celibus's quest with Dung Eater to get the Dung Eater puppet. I'd like to get the Dung Eater puppet, but the problem is... Uh, spoilers. If you do that quest, um, Big Bogart, the guy who sells you crab... He ends up dying at the hands of Dung Eater because he, like, defiles him or whatever. So, and I can't have that. I have to have the crab. Um, I want to get this wolf head. Yeah. Black wolf mask. I want to, I don't want to lose the ability to buy crab because it's so helpful. And I have to find out if you get his bell bearing by, you know, if you take him out, if you get his bell bearing for doing that. Okay, go to the Mistwood. Do I want to go to the Mistwood right now? I'm trying to think. I don't really like the Mistwood. I want to talk to Selin. Oh, jeez. This is, uh, I have to think. Alright, so I think what I'll do, I'll go down to the Mistwood now. And make my way to Blythe. Oh, I want this one. Sofa Riverbank. These guys, I remember the spear being pretty effective against them. Let me, I'll try the great sword, though. That's what I'll do. I'll try the great sword. And put my poison dagger back on. Okay, and there's... I have this on, I'm just not getting summoned into much. To be a hunter. And I think it's because the areas where I would be summoned to be a hunter, I haven't been yet. Like Altus and all those places. I need to get this. This cookbook. I'm not gonna fight all these guys. Um, I'll fight some of them, but. The majority of them I'm probably not going to fight. I fought so many of them up in... And they're just pretty nasty. Whoa. It's their combo. It's just crazy. See how delayed it is? It's crazy. <laughs> well, we did it. Alright, I think... Is that everybody? No, I didn't... Okay, that's it. I thought there was three. All right, let's go. Actually, before I get going, let's do this. 
I was thinking about if I left, if I didn't come here later, I would be like probably way overpowered and the battles wouldn't be satisfying because I would just be like one-shotting everything. Oh, and also, this area, you can get Ghost Glove Wart 1 through 5. See, there's just so many of them. Uh, you know what? You know what I've never done for these guys? Guard counters. I just never... Oh, you are so annoying. <laughs> okay, now I'm heavy. Yikes. Okay, let's just try this. I mean, not as much damage as I thought. And I was reading up on this sword, and there was a lot of comments saying that it needs a buff. Like it, like a 5% damage buff. Ah, good to see you. Apologies, mate, but I don't have much to report. I can see Bloody Nokron right above me, but I'm absolutely stumped. I've tried all the gateways to no avail. Perhaps it's time to ask Celebus. I recall that spiteful little rat acting like he knew something. Let's give him a squeeze. Show him just how sharp my teeth are. I jest. <laughs> I wouldn't it's, go that far. It's fine. I don't like Besides, him either. Uh, I should check on some things here. Leave this place to me. You just do what you feel is right. If either of us learns anything, we tell the other. Right? Leave this place to me. If either of us learns anything, and if we reach it, hell of us rarely gives a straight answer. First time. Oh, wait, I missed that one part. Leave if either of us learns, and if we reach a dead end, I suppose we go back to the source. Hell of us rarely gives a straight answer. First time. Okay, so I. Okay. He almost. It's almost as if he's telling you not to fight through this area, but. I don't think that's the case. Oh, I already did that. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. God. See, there's two of them. Oh, I can tell. Okay, this place, lots of flask refills. Nice. I don't think the guard counters are going to be particularly great here. I guess for the poise damage, it's pretty good. Okay, they're not that great. Why do I have parry on this shield? Yo, what shield did I have? Did I put no... Oh, the turtle shell. I was using this one. Okay, cool. Let's do it.
I might as well just use my flasks because it seems like we're getting a ton of flask refills. Uh I knew it. Okay. If it poise broke those those other guys in two hits, I knew it would poise break those guys in one. Kind of hard to land though. I have enough stamina to make it through their flurry, but. Just, eh, I don't know. Doesn't seem worth it. But what I'm gonna do right now is put on this. There we go. So now that healed me. Okay, this is... Okay, I'm having fun now. <laughs> this area I usually don't really love too much. But... It all... It really all depends on, like, the strat I'm using. Like, if the combat is kind of repetitive or boring. Um, especially, like, fighting the other guys without... Guard counters or, like, something different than what I'm used to. Wait, I thought there was a dude down here. Guess not. Come here, friend. So I think what's going on, if I had 52 poise right now, or 55 poise or something, I'd be able to poise through the attack and not uh, get... Because I'm getting that one little stagger and it's making the guard counter ineffective. Okay, let's go to our merchant friend. See what this dude has. I wish that I could get invaded without cooperators. I don't know. I, I don't know how. Like, can I use the... Can I use this? No, I can't use the taunter's tongue. I don't know how to do that. Mm -hmm. Oh, a customer. Hey. Uh... I don't need the soap. Goodbye. Till next time. Uh, t I have ten of these. Wow. Hello again, good customer. Uh, goodbye. Okay, I want to buy all of those butterflies. Oh, I have to use this. Uh... 
What do I got? I got two of these. I think we'll make it. What? Hello again, good customer. Um, that's it. I don't really need these. I'll just buy them. I'll buy like six of them, whatever. Goodbye. Okay, so, got that. I wanted to leave a message on this thing. First off, actions. I, no, I want... First off, friend. Okay, first off, no, I want friend. Okay. Can I guard counter these flowers? No. I don't have enough poise. Okay guys, you can you can live. I don't I just didn't want uh this for All right, so we got that off our list. Let's keep on trekking. I think I need to backtrack a little bit. And there's like a hill over here I need to go up. Okay, so the key is you have to hit the repu the button like really fast. Yeah, you have to be like really quick. If you're like half a second off, you just won't make it. All right, where's your your friends? There's more of you. Hi, dear. Yo, that did some damage. I'm, I'm really, like, resisting getting a new controller because I love this one, but it just, you know, the buttons aren't so... <laughs> they're doing the best they can. Hey, friend. Okay, I have a question now. So, as far as this weapon goes, does it have higher crit damage? Okay, so critical is 100. This has higher crit damage. The Lord Sworn Greatsword. This has 100 crit damage. Yikes, really? Huh. Okay. Yeah, this uh, sword, I don't know why it's so special. 
And it's a dex weapon. It requires more dex than strength. It's a very confusing weapon. I don't know. Sometimes when weapon sometimes when weapons are rare, like it doesn't mean that they're like the rarer the weapon doesn't mean the better it is. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? Oh, I got the fur rem remnant. Oh wait, I have to put it on. Fit the theme of the area. Put some different pants on. Uh, I guess these match. And these? Okay. Oh, we look fabulous. <laughs> Let's go. With the turtle shield and everything. Okay, I ransacked this area. Now we gotta go over here and make our way to that pylon. And there's a lot of friends on the way. No, what am I doing? What? <laughs> I, I could not tell that that was a hill. I just... I thought it was literally just a little hill. A little, like, a uh, change in grade, but no. Okay. Alright, I took a sip of water. Regroup. Alright, let's, uh, try this again. So, it's getting to springtime now, so, like, the hot weather is coming in, in my area. And I didn't, like, set up my air conditioning yet. Because, like, I have a whole... Oh. I, I'm not killing you guys again. I already did your little... Group. Okay, where are my runes? Why are they over here? That's weird. Okay. Okay, this is where we left off. I was running over here. A million guys spawned and I said I wasn't going to kill them and then... That's it. Okay, I think this is where I left off. Yo, how are you guys... Hey, what's up? Oh, I forgot. I got a rune arc. Yeah, that's fine. Here we go. That guy's eyeing me up. Where? Oh, look at this. Look at this group. Okay, give me all these guys. Nice. Okay, so... What is this? I think this is the fourth? Okay, so... I don't really know this area very much, so I might be missing items. That's the thing, I because... Just, and we're not even to the part. We're not even to the part that 
is bad. The where you get sniped over and over again. Um, I think I'll do this one. Whoa, that took a lot of stamina. Uh, do I want to go up here now? Yeah, let me go up here now because I have all my stuff. Like, um... My physic and a lot of different health potions, because there's a there's a nasty dude up here. Like, oh, I'm being summoned as a hunter. Oh, I'm not ready. I don't have any of my stuff equipped. No. <laughs> oh no, I forgot. I can't. Okay. Let me, I just need to put on, like, regular armor. Okay. Okay, where am I going? Over here. Oh my god, I have to hurry. Don't die. Don't die, guys. No, don't die. Oh my god, please, no. One of the bloody fingers dead. Okay, good. Okay. They got him. Shalendra. Bloody Finger Shalendra. That's a pretty name. Okay, so I want to do... It's more... F I don't know. It's very fun for me to be wearing this stuff right now, so I'm just going to do it. But you know what I can do? I can wear these ones. These kind of match. And then there's like actually a little bit more protection. And I can carry more weapons now that I have so much stuff. I mean, so light armor and stuff. Okay, let's go. Oh, these pants look better. I, I mean, I don't mind showing the thigh, but it was just a little cheeky. Oh my gosh, I didn't, I didn't remember that I went up here. So I was like, where am I? Oh my god. Me all the formic rock. At some point, I want to run to the Mogwin Palace area, and maybe in like 10 more levels, I'll go and fight my way through there, at least try, because I really want to get the cookbook for the swarm of fly pots. Because I think those will be so good with in PvP. Okay, I'm definitely going to use Rot Dog for this fool. And it's it's going to be rough. Okay, I don't need the shield. Or this. Uh, he, he doesn't... He just does physical damage. That's all he does. I'm going to try and use bleed primarily on this guy. Bleed poison rot. Yeah. Tip, buff your summons.
He's rotted. Oh, really? I don't believe it. I'll take that trade. I'll take it. Oh, beautiful. That was that was beautiful. I loved it. We did it. And we got the dragon halberd. Okay, guys. Now, this, the dragon halberd has a status effect. But you can only use it when the buff is active. So, from what I know, is the only time this cr does frost buildup is when it's buffed. So if you look, there's the frost effect. See, it's the like little shiny, the really fine particles. But this this weapon is disgusting. Especially in PvP. I don't generally like using it in PvP because it's almost too powerful. I don't know how to say it. I just think any weapon that can stunlock you enough that It just stun. I don't know. There's another one. Another the Ashavor Storm 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 Caller in PVP is just psychotic. It stun locks you so hard that you just can't do anything. I this one invader came into the fight, and it was two cooperators. It was me and another cooperator, and then the host, and all three of us were close to the invader, and he started using Storm Caller. And all three of us just got melted. It was nuts. So it was one of those things where it's like, yeah, it's effective. But is it fun? It just didn't feel fun. <laughs> okay, let's go in here, though. Fun for the invader, though. He probably had a blast. Okay, distract all these guys. Uh... Oh, they're not very... Oh, they're not really weak to... Wait! Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Goodbye. Maybe not. Oh, I'm very bloody, though. Nice reach. Okay, so this... This weapon is just not really effective when the buff goes away. Okay, let's get this. Oh wait, I don't have to... I killed enough of them to uh, clear this place out. I got a five. Nice. All right, that's it. Oh, I got the harpoon. Clayman harpoon is a like an int weapon. 
So if you want to use, um, if you want a weapon for int build, that's a spear, a thrusting weapon, that's a good, a good option. Unless, like, you can put an Ash of War on, the, when I was doing my, my sorcery build, like, my frost sorcerer build, I use the, this halberd, and I put cold on it. So it's int scaling and has magic damage, and then sword dance. And it's really good for invaders, enemies. It's good because it's kind of like, it gives you the advantage of range. Okay, I think we, yeah, we got everything. I got the sword seal, I got the ghost glove or five. We're good. Let me get this golden seed. Already got it. Oh yeah, I was already up here. I forgot. I came here, I think I might have explained it before, but I came here because somebody I was helping in co-op was in this area, and I had to activate the co-op things, so that way I could be summoned, but I didn't grab any of the items. Alright, we're back. I really need to go to a grace. After I grab this, I'm going to fast travel to one of the graces and reset. Because I'm out of everything. I can't believe how fast that... That thing went down. I already grabbed that. Okay. That Dragon King Knight, like, got melted. Which is the theme of this playthrough. Like, the status effects, I've... It's just... Insane. Like, Rot Dog didn't do much damage. But he did hold aggro for me pretty good. Okay, here. Worshipper's Woods. Okay, so I'll grab this, and then I should... Yeah, this is where I thought I would be. Is this on? Yeah, these are all on. Okay. Alright, I need to go over here. Oops. I keep thinking that's crab. Not this crab. Okay, so the only way I know how to do this one is to run past them, but keep turning like this. And as long as you keep turning, they can't really get you. But if you get stuck on a rock for like a second, you're doomed. That grab attack where they like reach for you, it's like a gear. It it works with the guard counter every time. As an FYI, this back on. Nice. Okay, let's turn this on. What's up, dear friend? Look at him. Okay, so let's keep going. Now, let's see. So there's a scarab up here, but I may have already grabbed it. Yeah, this is... um. I believe square off, Ash of War. I think I can pick off some rats. Yo, this guy don't care. He's like, whatever. 
You gotta wait a second and then... Because they have the invincibility frames when they're getting up. All right, let's go do this, uh... There's, like, a group of rats and other nightmare fuel en enemies. Yeah, there's a big rat. So if I think if I aggro the big rat, all the other ones will follow. Oh, my rat friends. I'm out of, uh, juice here. Do you know why rats are so hard? They can literally animation ca cancel you. Like, no matter what you're doing, they can just cancel it. <laughs> Alright, so I don't really know how many I've... Oh, it's done! We did it! Okay, I just have to go up here. So, I found that the easiest way to do this is to run up the side here. So if you hug this edge... And then fight your way down. That's the... Because this way, you can run up here, grab the grace, and then... You'll be able to get a little bit of breathing room before they start annihilating you. Alright, let's, uh... Did I turn this on? Sure. Nice. Okay. Let me reset. I think my last glove war is up here. And I've been trying to think of an end game build, and I was thinking of the rotten axe, like that giant axe that causes rot. Clarifying Horn Charm. Okay, I don't really need that. That goes up to an area of Kaled. I'll get it later. What I really want to do is figure out what items are over here. Okay, can the Misery Cord kill these guys? Yes. Misery Cord has, like, some of the highest crit damage. Right into it. Like 20 minutes later, and then I c you can attack. It's just nuts. There's got to be someone who... Can, like, fight between those attacks. Because there has to be a way. Like, you have to be able to fight through some of it. And not have to wait. Look at you guys with your little jumps. Oh, there's three of you guys. Great.
There's not much here. I haven't found one item. I found those... Oh, no, no, that guy dropped those Dwimmer arrows. And this is a really tough area because of the snipers. Ah, what? Okay. All right. All right, I think we're good. All right, love it. All right, so where did I... I did the whole upstairs. I did... This area... I'll run down now. There's a little island I think I missed. And that's it. That's all I can think of. Come here. I don't know, sometimes that grab attack, I can guard counter, and then other times I can't. Are you going to do the grab? Oh. Maybe it's like a different one? Grab attack? Oh, the first grab attack, I can't... Can I backstab you pretty easily? The hit... Okay, the, the one attack that they do when they, like, raise their knee... I think that's the only reliable one that I've been able to guard counter. Alright, so that's it. That's the area I went, wanted to fight through. Bo okay, let's do the boss. Oh wait, I didn't get the map. Where's the map? I know where it is. The map is at the very start. Oh, let me level up. I think I can use this thing. I need 29-1. Okay. A little bit more. Okay, this next box, I'm not going to use... Oh, no, I'll use Jellyfish. I just want to use a Spirit Ash that's not... Because this boss, I, I think... If I use something a little too aggressive, it'll trivialize the boss. Okay, I did. Got that. Okay, let's go. Oh, I forgot. I did all that to level up, and I forgot to level up. Alright. Sit down. I'm working on faith right now. I want to get 24 faith so I can use my... This, uh... Blessings boon without a rune arc. Okay, I got the map. Let's go. Oh, you know what? Okay, I'll come back for it. I forgot that little riser over there where their bow is. There's a there's like a horned bow around here. Okay, definitely don't need the shield for this guy. I do need magic damage negation, though. In case I step in that's like fantasy goo or whatever. Alright. 
Let's do it. Oh, I just remembered the music in this fight is just nuts. Uh, okay, let's go. Good damage. got slapped. Nice! Very nice fight. That that guy's kind of sad to kill. He's like so elegant. Really ugly looking. Well, I, I don't know how to say it. He's not ugly. There's just a really sad uh, feeling to that fight. Nice. Hell yeah. I wish, Yeah, it's a lot more fun to not use the Spirit Ashes. Because... The fights don't go as fast. They've been going way too fast lately. Alright, so that's that. Let's go um, talk to Blythe now that I've defeated the boss. I doubt there's new dialogue, but I don't know, so might as well check. I'm gonna get this bow. Where is it? Oh, it's over here. Okay. And then this is... Six. Nice. Sometimes you have to kill these guys or they just won't leave you alone. I didn't want to do that. <laughs> I forgot I didn't, uh, I took off my shield. I'd like to... 
Actually, these are pretty good because they're fast, so... All right, we got them out of there. Good. Okay, so... Oh, Blythe. I just need to talk to Blythe. That's all I want to do. Hey, what's up? Leave this place to me. Okay. If either of us learns anything, we tell the... All right, let's see what we got. Glove wart. Oh, you can go over here? I... Maybe I knew that? What are you? Stone sword key. I have so many of those. When you buy them from the merchants, you just end up with, like, a huge collection. Okay. Oh, God. Like, should I be using Torrent for this? It just doesn't seem like a good idea. Okay, we got it. Okay, that was it. That was the last thing. Alright, so... Celibus. I have to talk to him since Blythe was like telling me and then he said he might not give me the information I need at first so I don't know I don't know what that means so maybe I have to leave and come back after I talk to him once No, wait. The potion. I, will you talk to me if I don't use the potion? I have no time. The only thing are we and I have enough. Oh, ask about Nokron. Well, well. You're asking me about that, are you? Yes. The task was left to you and the mongrel, was it not? Not only are you incompetent, but shameless. Well, there's no helping it. Now's as good a time as any. I'll let you in on it. There's a glintstone sorcerer by the name of Selen in Limgrave. She owes me for the help I gave her when she was expelled from the academy. I asked her to look into the matter some time ago. I'll write you a letter of introduction. Go ask her. I have no time. The only thing are we and I have enough. Okay, what does this letter say? I never read it. It says Scroll bearing a royal coat of arms, a letter of introduction written by Preceptor Celibus, addressed to a glinstone sorcerer named Selen. The contents of the scroll cannot be discerned. Ah, really? Okay. Secret sorcerer language? I like, this is like a second opportunity for them to, to send you to Selen, which is good because I, she's kind of hidden, you know, like if you don't find this dungeon in your playthrough, like you're not going to find her. There you are. Shall we commence the last? Uh. Oh, is that very well? I'll be sure to never lose. Okay, I gave her that. Letter of introduction. Well, well. Salavis is not a name I ever wanted to hear again. Okay. But fine. If it will help you, my apprentice, I offer my knowledge. The stars alter the fate of the Karian royal family and the fate of your mistress, Rani. But long ago, General Radan challenged the swirling constellations and in a crushing victory, arrested their cycles. Now he is the force that repulses the stars. If General Radan were to die, the stars would resume their movement, and so too 
would Rani's destiny. You wished very well. Okay, so... In so many words, she was just like, yeah, you gotta kill Radon, and then that'll continue Rani's quest. But, on that note, I'm gonna end it here, and then in the next one, I will continue on with... Hey! the playthrough in Altus or um, in Kaled. I'm not really sure. But adios, be well. Don't take life too seriously. I'll see you in the next one.